Hello and welcome to Learn Stage Now with Zebra Knowledge Center. This series covers everything you need to know to stage Zebra mobile computers efficiently, productively, and effortlessly using our Stage Now tool. In this episode, we will cover Stage Now essentials UI, navigation, intended use cases, and workflows. It's not going to take long, but will be extremely useful if you want to use the tool efficiently. The other videos of this series will be even shorter, so we hope. If you don't know what Stage Now is, check out our Stage Now overview video. Okay, let's begin. What you learned today is that 6 plus 6 equals 15. In about 15 minutes, we'll cover 6 topics using just 6 slides, including these. The rest will be a live hands on with the tool so you can follow along easily. Here you can see the list of topics that will be covered, but not necessarily in the same order. Getting Stage Now is very easy. Just go to our support portal zebra.com slash stage now, you're also at the top. On that page you can download the tool and the documentation. It's a single executable, everything's packed in and a very straightforward install with it, just click through. The only thing to remember during install is the administrator password. You cannot change it after your tool, so think carefully. Choose a good one and write it down somewhere. We'll explain this password a bit later. So why don't you do it right now, go to the web page, Install Stage Now and I'll meet you at the Stage Now title screen. This is how Stage Now greets you when you first run it. What can we see on this screen? Well, the software tells us that there is nothing to stage. There are no staging profiles, so you need to create some. However, for this, you need to log in the admin mode. This brings us to the next topic. What is this admin mode and why do we need it? Think of a situation where you want to support users in a remote site. You want them to be able to stage the devices themselves using this tool, so you don't have to go there every time. But, do you want them to mess with your settings? Likewise, if you're an integrator supporting customers and you want to be sure that everything is stable, you would use it to your advantage. Thus, Stage Now has two modes. Operator mode, where you can stage devices but you can't edit staging profiles, and administrator mode, where you additionally can manage your profiles. Now let's jump to the live application where I've created some sample profiles for you. Here's how the Stage Now main screen looks like when you do have some profiles created. You can see the list here, which is fairly self-explanatory. There are pop-ups in case the text is clipped. There are latest published profiles, latest stage profiles, and when there are too many of those, you can always favorite some of them, so they always appear at the top. There is a simple menu here, which you will rarely be using, to be honest, but there is one more feature which is very important. This is a menu that contains version information and contains the help file, clicking which will bring up a browser which has full-blown HTML help with search and everything else. Now let's stage by simply clicking one of the underlined profile names. At the staging screen, Things are quite self-explanatory. You get some instructions from administrator on when and how should this profile be used, or there may be some other note. You can also add your own comments, like this one. This will later appear on the staging sheet for the users to use. And then you want to generate the actual staging sheet. So as you can see, this profile supports barcodes in NFC. Let's take a look at barcodes first. What you need to do is select the barcode types you want generated, and then all you need to do is click Stage. Here it is, our sheet. Let's take a look around. So here's a barcode type, administrator instructions, our own instructions here, and then the barcode. This barcode can be scanned off screen if you have a 2D scanner and, or camera if you follow these simple instructions. Then there are linear barcodes. It's a little bit trickier with the linear barcodes because there may be a lot of them. As you can see here, they even span more than one page. Now this software, when you scan it with the StageNow client on the device, is actually quite clever. It will recognize the barcode number and will tell you the remaining barcodes you need to scan. You don't really have to scan them in this exact order. You can start with 9, then jump to 5, and so on and so on. But of course you need to ensure that you've scanned all of them. We will do the staging a bit later, for now back to the staging screen. One more thing at the staging screen. If your profile allows for NFC, you can actually generate a binary file and save it later, so you can flash it onto the NFC tag using your favorite tool of choice. Well, this is it about the operator mode. Extremely easy, isn't it? 
Now, if you want to create a new profile or edit existing one, you need to go to the admin mode, either by clicking create new profile or selecting administrator login from here. Anyway, you will be prompted for the password, which you have specified during installation. And here's the home screen of the admin mode. Looks pretty much the same, except that you have some additional stats and actions here. This allows you for the whole profile management. Let's actually create a very simple profile to show you how it looks. First of all, I will delete one of the existing ones and then we'll recreate it. So let's go to create new profile and here you can see the list of wizards. The tooltips will allow you to read the remainder of a text if it's clipped, but the names are self-descriptive. You can configure network connections for wireless LAN and wireless WAN, you can enroll into an MDM, you can manage applications, install, uninstall, configure, do many other things. You can manage various aspects of the device security, including lockdown and all sorts of protection, perform an OS update on the device, wipe the device to enterprise reset or factory reset. And also there is something called expert mode, which is pretty much the free flow mode where you decide which actions and in what order will be taken on the device. If you want to learn more about any of these wizards, we have a dedicated video for each one of them. But for now, let's choose something simple, such as wiping the device and click create. Here's the profile creation screen. You can name your profile here. Spaces are not allowed, by the way. And then start creating a profile. You can later rename your profile from here. This will always be here. And here is a main nav bar. You can see that the profile status is incomplete. And whenever you want to go back, you just click this home button. But for now, let's go through. This secondary strip will actually guide us through the process. First of all, select the method from the dropdown, factory reset. And now we have to specify the details for factory reset. Well, in fact, for the factory reset, there is not much to specify. Everything is pre-selected for us through something called a setting. What is a setting? Every profile is essentially a collection of settings or other presets of various types applied to the device. Here's one of type power manager that allows, among many other things, factory resets and reboots of the device. When you're working in expert mode, you get to fully control all the setting types and their little tweaks and knobs. But here, everything is pre-selected for us right away. Very handy. What you also see here is we can save this setting for reuse. So what I can do here is I can say, OK, I want my setting to be called factory reset and it will be saved. Likewise, I can reuse the existing setting and you can see I can select some of them here from the list. So let's go ahead and continue. Well, this wizard was simple, just a single step. Some other wizards might be more complex, containing more settings of different times combined together. You can always review whatever you've done on the review screen. By clicking expand, you will see a list of steps. And in fact, you can click here to go back and change it by clicking edit. And you can always navigate throughout using the secondary strip here and the primary strip here. Now, let's give our profile a meaningful description, save it, and we'll keep the encryption on. We'll discuss it later. Note that our profile status is still incomplete, so we want to complete our profile now. Let's click this button. This is the final screen. Note that the profile status is complete, but operators will not see it yet because it's not published. Before publishing, we might want to test it. Testing a setting is a good idea. You can do it without exposing the profile to the operators, so you have all the time you need for tweaking and fine-tuning. Can you think of a couple scenarios where last tested date might be useful? Well, first of all, users might be experiencing problems with profile, which was tested about four months ago. But then an update came out which rendered the profile incompatible, since, for example, the application now stores config files in a different directory or the operating system was updated. Or maybe users are experiencing problems with the profile, but the last tested date is blank, which means the profile was pushed untested. So let's go ahead and test our profile. This is very simple. You just get the barcode sheet, test it with your device, happy with the results. We can now publish the profile, which exposes 
it to the operator mode and you can provide instructions to the operator as well. Simply scan. Publish now. Now this profile is visible to the operator. You can choose which methods you want to expose specifically in order to for operator to see it. Select the relevant checkboxes, publish and now you can see that two of these methods will be available. You can also stage the profile right from this screen, but we will not do it, we will do it from the operator mode. So one final question for you. Guess how you leave this screen. Remember this home button? There it is. Click it, you're back home, and here is our new profile with the status published. There may be other statuses for the profiles like complete, staged, tested and so on and so forth. Before moving on to staging, let's take a quick look at another feature of the admin mode. Here's the all settings screen with all the settings created so you know which ones can be reused. You can also learn which profiles use a specific setting by clicking on this number here. Alright, so here's the barcode sheet we've generated. It has two barcodes, the 2D one and the one-dimensional ones, of which there are 10. We got away lucky this time, it's only one page of 1D barcodes. And here is the screen of my mobile device, and I've put on the home screen the icon for Stage Now and the icon for Data Watch. Why Data Watch, would you ask? Well, Stage Now client actually uses Data Watch to scan barcodes. And here's a little tip for you. When you're trying to scan barcodes using the device's camera, in Data Watch, there will be a profile called Stage Now. So you want to go to that profile, if you're staging from screen, and you want to ensure that in your reader parameters you disable the illumination, because otherwise your camera will shine its flash on screen, which is not helpful. So now, let's go ahead and launch stage now. First of all, I will scan the 1D barcodes, just to show you how it works. So as you can see, the ETC55 camera works pretty well for capturing barcodes, and also as you can see, the system is actually clever enough to understand which barcode was scanned and which of them are remaining. Look here, right? Look, there is no barcode number 6, so we can scan those. But now, in fact, instead of Scanning all those linear barcodes, I will clear them here and I will show you how to scan the two-dimensional barcode. And there it is. Oops, I think I just erased my device. This concludes the practical part of this video. All right, this is it. Let's now do a brief summary and recap. What I will do now is we'll play a game. I will show you a question on the screen, pause the video, think of an answer, unpause the video, and you will see the answer coming up. Check your knowledge to ensure that you got all the key points right. OK, here we go. How many mods in stage now? Pause the video now and think about it. There are two modes, admin and operator. Admin can manage profiles, operator can only stage. Can you change the admin password after the installation? No, you need to remember what you've specified in the install wizard. Can you edit staging profiles after creation? Yes, and you have easy navigation to jump to exactly the part you want to edit. Why publish profiles? So that incomplete profiles and unavailable staging options, such as NFC or maybe 2D barcodes, don't clutter operator's screen. Can you scan the barcodes off the device screen? Yes, if you have 2D imager, 1D imager, such as the one in TC55, or a camera. What are the RD barcodes for? These barcodes allow devices with legacy operating systems to upgrade to the modern stage now client. Some features, of course, might not be available due to legacy OS limitations. Where do I get stage now and how much? 
Stage now is freely available on https://supportsymbol.com, our support portal. Congratulations and thank you for watching this video. You now know the essentials of Stage Now and can stage a device with existing profile and even create a simple one yourself. Check out our other videos to learn about various staging use cases, best practices and advanced features of Stage Now. Go ahead, give it a try and thank you for staying with us.